Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So today is April 13th and it's time to get in and follow up on hives 6 and 10. So I was last into those two hives on the 8th, so it's been five days and they had queen cells, swarm cells, that were about three quarters of the way and they maybe needed, uh, I don't know, uh, a little less than a quarter inch to be fully length, uh, full lengthwise and capped. So I'm thinking these five days is what it takes to get those capped. I looked around the trees when I came down here for swarms. I didn't see any, so knock on wood. Uh, so I think the timing is right to get in there now and uh, we're gonna look for that original queen and get her out of there so she won't swarm put her in her own nuke box and that'll kill her swarm uh urge so uh i call that an artificial swarm i uh, think that's what most folks call that but uh you never know with the uh, folks out there but anyway so we're going to try an artificial swarm uh, these two queens i'm going to start in hive 10 because it had multiple cells and hive six only had one at that time so uh I got about two hours of sunlight and maybe less of time of uh, dry weather because we got a front coming in from the west here and I think it's going to be raining in about an hour, hour and a half. So let's get going. Okay, here we are at Hive 10. You can see it's a really strong hive. I put two supers on it right off the bat uh, because it's that strong. But uh, I'm not interested in the supers right now. I'm going to get them off of here first thing we'll see if I can just grab them both at the same time and from the looks of this hive from the top I'd say they have not swarmed which is a good thing so let's get in there and find our queen and also check the status of those swarm cells uh, first thing I'm going to do is probably just pop this thing up in the middle and take a quick look. So I'm going to be looking for my queen. Uh, I don't want to put a whole lot of smoke in here, but uh, I got a lot of bees buzzing me right now. So I think that's fair warning that uh, sting NATO may be imminent. Show you what we got here. So when you break apart these hives that have uh, swarm cells, you you run the risk of breaking them. So I broke this one and this one and that one. That one looks like that's left from the last time because uh, it's all dry come on there we go so those are no longer good uh, this one here looks damaged and the one above it so that one looks like it may be emerged so i think that one is emerged so we may have us a, a virgin queen in here. Uh, right here is a good one still that hasn't been capped. And right below is another one that's good. So that's frame number three. So frame number three is, is all we got going for us here. Maybe this one. No, that one was busted pulled off. You should probably get a good shot of that queen. I don't know if you can see her in there or not. So when what happens is these cells they glue them down to the bottom as well. So when you open it up and if you pull the frames out one at a time you're gonna have the same thing happen. So right here you can see they, they drew that cell down in there, and there's the queen right there. 
she's right there. So she's done for. And these other ones were over here, but I don't see where they were connected, but they're broken for sure. So, so we're gonna do a split if we find the queen and we'll leave this frame number three in here. And we might find some cells that are up higher on the frames that, that uh, we can use as well. So you notice I set that down perfectly straight, perfectly lined up. So you don't want to set it down sideways and scoot it around because you're going to bust them, uh, your queen cells. It may have been better if I pulled them one at a time. I don't know. I'm in a hurry. That's my problem. So I just wanted to see real quick if we're good to go. And we are. Timing is right. Uh, we just got to find that uh, original queen. I'm going to go look at my notes real quick to see what color she's marked. Okay, so this queen is marked blue. Uh, we marked her uh, this spring, back in March. So it ought to be fresh markings. Be easy to see. So this probably is not the best weather to do this as well, but it's the time that I've got. It's kind of overcast. It's uh, about 65 degrees out. So the first thing we're doing is looking for a marked blue queen. And I'm also kind of keeping an eye for a virgin queen because it looked like there was one that had emerged just from the looks of that cell. It looked like it had been chewed out and come out. So all this is honey, capped honey, so the odds of finding a queen on here is pretty slim. But uh, if you're looking for a virgin, she they they got track shoes, man. They move. Uh, so here's uh, number three. I don't want to move it sideways very much. Lift it straight up. Oh, yeah. We got queen cells up here. There's one and there's one. So, in addition to this one here. So, if we can find our original queen, uh, we'll leave this one in there to requeen with. I'm glad we got those up there. That makes the odds a lot better. Boy, she's laid this thing up uh, in anticipation of leaving. So this cell right here, I think, is still good. Come on, we want to see us a blue dot. Lots of brood on there. Sorry about that, I usually try and get my camera closer up. As many bees are, that are in here, uh, I don't think she has swarmed. So one thing I can do if I don't find her and uh, I'll decide on that later if that comes to be. But uh, I could do a 50-50 split on this and uh, try and find that queen later. And you got a 50-50 shot that, that you don't put her in with uh, your swarm cells. Put all your swarm cells in one part and the rest of the bees in the other with brood and eggs. And uh, depending on what they do with the eggs, you can determine if that queen is in there or not. 
if they start pulling down super seeder cells, you know that queen's not in there. And here's torn up queen cells. She may, aha, bingo. B-I-N-G-O and bingo was her name. Oh, there's Miss Blue Dot. Okay, so I'm gonna separate this frame right now and I'm gonna bring a new box over here. Okay, we got us a five frame nuke here. And got our nuke bottom board. Okay. So we're gonna pull some frames out of there and build this nuke. So these are black right cell and I've coated them with extra wax. So we need to evaluate uh, what all we've got on this frame. Because we need to be sure we get everything in here this queen needs or this hive needs. So there's just a little bit of honey on the outside and we got uncapped brood in the middle. And this side here has got a lot of capped brood in the middle and honey on the outsides. So we need to get them a little more honey and some bee bread and we'll shake some more bees in there for them. So we've got our queen isolated in here. We got swarm cells in here on frame three and four. And I'm not gonna make another split. I wanna try and preserve the strength of this hive so we can get some honey production out of it. So here we got our bee, bee bread underneath here, which is pollen and nectar mixed together. And out here we've got honey. Uh, got some drones there. I don't really care about those, but that's okay. And we got some empty space here and honey uh, so the queen can lay in here if she wants. Another thing you need to do, make sure you don't have swarm cells uh, with the frame you put in there. There's a little cup, which that's probably okay. That's a drone. These are drones. So there's a fair amount of bees on here. We'll get that in there with them. So I'm not going to put five frames in here. I'm just going to put four. I'm going to put two of these blanks in there with them. And I'm going to get a frame of bees and shake them in there. So here's my frame of bees I'm going to shake. You notice it's got a lot of brood in it. So that means most of the bees on here are nurse bees. Uh, this side's mostly empty, but you want as many nurse bees as possible when you shake them because they won't fly and come back here. They're just going to hang out wherever they get shook and they'll stay there with that queen. So when I shake bees into a hive, I made me a space here and I like to just put it down in there and give it a firm shake. So see there, I got 99% of those bees. So we're done. Scoot this back to the middle. Put in these two blank frames. And we'll get a lid on this. Okay, so here's what we got in our split. Our queen's on this frame with some larva and some capped. And there's some capped on here and bee bread. And there's plenty of honey on those two frames. We're in the nectar flow. 
uh, which is good. Uh, it's really dry now, but uh, I think we're fixing to get some rain. So I got two blanks here. And uh, we just need to get the lid on this and get it uh, put where we're going to put it. And I'll let them settle in. And uh, I'm going to put it right over there in space number four where that little cardboard nuke is. So on these nukes, uh, what I've found is the frame tops are real close to the top. So you want to smoke the bees down before you put your uh, lid on. so you don't squish any of them. And you can also slide it, kinda, to get them down. Okay, this lid's got a little warp in the middle, so I wanna put something heavy in the middle to weight that down. Okay, so we just artificial swarmed the queen from hive 10, and now she's the queen in hive four. She's blue, so this is her year number two. So uh, she ought to lay real well in here, and we should be able to expand this pretty quick. Uh, later, I will probably put another nuke box on here and put a feeder in the top, just to help them out a little bit. And I'm gonna reduce this down So there, now they've got about a one inch entrance to defend. And I want to get some weight on here. That ain't enough. Yeah, that did it. Actually, it didn't. So I'm probably gonna go get me another lid. Uh, on these new colonies, when you're starting out, you want them sealed up good. So uh, I have some black ants around here, and they'll attack a, a wheat colony. But uh, I think this will be okay, but still, I want, the, I want a good snug-fitting lid here. So we're, we'll fix that later. we got to get over to this other hive and get it buttoned up. All right. So frame three. So one, two three is the frame we need to be very careful with and I think I saw one on here too so let's get these two over and we can be uh, more free with our smoke now because we're not uh, worried about running our queen off I can just slide these over yeah i'm gonna put those uh, empty frames new frames on the outside wind is picking up i may not get to hive six mark our frame with 21 for 2021 so we know when it went in service so frames three and four, I need to be very careful with. Don't slide them. Pick it straight up. Because there's a queen cell right there. Right here we still got us a good queen cell. So that's one. If I didn't have uh, six queens coming that I've purchased, uh, I would go ahead and pull that frame and make another split. But it's gonna be a bad honey year, so I'd like to get some honey, so I don't wanna pull too many out of here. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it like it is. We may have a cast swarm off these multiple virgins. Uh, so there's, uh, let's see. What's going on? 
we got two here. One, two, and one remaining here, not quite capped. So that's four, and they're staged out uh, some, so if one queen doesn't work out and they don't declare her the queen uh, because they're staggered in time, uh, I, th I feel like the odds are better of this requeening successfully. Another thing that happened this year because of that extreme cold, uh, a lot of the bluebirds, eastern uh, bluebirds, did not survive. I had several in my barn that, that froze to death, and I've heard a lot of people talk about that as well. And I used to see the bluebirds out here flying in this open area, swooping down, and uh, swoop back. And I was thinking, man, those bluebirds are getting my queens. And I had the hardest time last year, uh, hives failing to requeen. This hive is getting exponentially grumpy. Notice I got my belt on. I don't want any recurrences of uh, last year. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's how you prevent a swarm. And man, did I get lucky. So what was she, the sixth frame in there? And bam, I, I spotted her. She was marked, easy to find. A uh, lot of bees in the hive now because the conditions. Uh, they didn't go crazy on me, which I was afraid they would. Uh, when it's cloudy and chilly, the bees aren't out foraging that much. So all the bees are right here. And uh, they were fairly calm. They got a little grumpy there towards the end. But yeah, when, right when those cells are starting to get capped, find your queen, okay? So look at the, the queen bee growth chart. Uh, I think it's 19 days. So figure out on there, and it shows you what day they cap. So right when they're closing off is when you want to find that queen and get her out of there. So she's over there in a little bitty hive, and so... She's been demoralized and she will not want to swarm now. Uh, if I had not done anything to this hive, she'd have been gone. I guarantee you she would have been gone. So uh, they would have swarmed for sure. Uh, probably in the next three to five days, I would guess. But uh, So you get your queen out of there and then let them requeen right here. Uh, I didn't take much, many bees out of there compared to the overall population so we saved this hive and it's strong but we need to come back and keep our eye on it come back in three weeks and check this hive and look for uh, eggs if we see eggs just close it back up and get out if you find your queen uh, go ahead and mark her so this uh, this year uh, it's white so I got my white pin here in case I find a new queen and I still carry my blue for last year if I find an existing queen that's not marked, I'll go ahead and mark her blue so I know she's a year old. But uh, that is it. So give me a thumbs up if you would and subscribe to the channel if you would. And uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.